We are joined this morning by none other than reggae royalty, Gramps Morgan. Good morning, Gramps. Legend. Good morning. Up and going, up and going on the bridge. Wonderful. We're also live on Flow 987 with Red and DJ Reds, uh, as well as Isis, who I still believe is still in studio with them. Yeah, man. Good morning. I'm mm -hmm. Toronto and whole Canadian family. Big up, Flow. All right. So, Gramps, you've been hitting us with uh, music after music. Uh, you gave us uh, positive vibrations last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, still in the recording booth, you're still delivering music. Talk to us. What's the inspiration? What keeps you motivated to be hitting us with so many projects in such quick su succession? Well, we just wanted to peel back the layers a little bit, you know. Of course, with the loss of my father, Denroy Morgan, you know, emotionally, it's been a rough time. So it's been a bittersweet year after coming off of the nomination um, for a Grammy with my first my, my first nomination as a solo artist. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to really peel back the layers, and me and my producer, Johnny Reed, has been really talking. So he's been on tour, I've been on tour. And we're like, hey, man, let's get into something deep and... We started to look into what we had already and started to record some more songs. And Butterfly was one of those songs that really expressed what I was going through and expressed a lot of things that parents go through and, you know, watching their their, their child go to, to university. He's not living in the house or she's not living in the house or getting married. So it's similar to um, people like you, but this one is more of acceptance. People like you was a song of comfort. Mm -hmm. And the acoustic album just gives me a chance to really peel back and let the, the Graham Smagan fans really get a chance to enjoy um, the vocals and just simple pianos and guitars. Definitely. And we are ex uh, definitely enjoying it. Red, mm -hmm. as we have Gramps with us, uh, any question for Gramps? Not hearing Red? Let's, let's see if I can hear Red now. Good morning again to Red. Hi, good morning. All right, so yeah, we, we, we weren't go. hearing you just now. But uh, we've got Gramps, and I was asking if you would <laughs> had any questions for Gramps. First of all, our condolences. Um, we have a lot of people on IG Live showing some love. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Mayday, are you there? Yeah, we're here. We're here. We're here. Okay, okay. Uh, we have Isis with us, a Canadian Jamaican artist as well. So he's locked in and he wants to send some love as well. Yeah, yeah I just want to say, um, you know, my condolences. You know, yes. and just continue to keep up the great work, you know. You have a lot of people that you inspire out here with right. your music. I just want to say, continue inspiring people. All Give right. thanks. Big up, Isis. Big up. Yeah, man. More blessings. Right. So, Grams, as you alluded to, Butterfly, as I mm. listened last mm. night, mm. that mm. track, definitely, oh. it, it wasn't of a romantic nature. I listened and I said, all right, I, when Grams put this out there, who was he singing for on behalf of? And you made it clear just now that, listen, this is for the parents who are seeing that youngster mature, bloom, letting them go out in the wild. We yes, really sir. appreciate that mm -hmm. sentiment. Is that, uh, where is that coming from? Is that a personal experience, Gramps? It, it's uh, absolutely, it's a personal experience. Um, you know, um, last year, my daughter got married. Wow. So watching her grow up and, Remember when we used to tell her to sit down and stop your eyes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and watching her now becoming a mother and, and, and our husband and going through that whole experience, I remember it. So it's with the emotions of my father, you know, mm. I can't accept that my father's not here in the flesh mm. anymore. Mm. And a lot of us never really overcome that. And it's the memories that keep us going. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like learning to accept it and say, okay, I'm really gone. So it's now it's time to let his memories live on mm -hmm. and to so mm -hmm. that whole acceptance energy. Because a lot of people still to this day, the, the death of my mother, I'm still not over it. Wow. So even though with this song Butterfly, I'm letting I, I'm getting a chance to even relive that as well and bring that healing as uh, uh, also. Respect. Let us share Butterfly with the listeners right now. Yes. It's yours truly, DJ Roddy G, and Shell's in the studio of the Bridge 99. We are in Ooh, that Canadian wow. connection with Ooh. Red DJ Ritz and their special guest, Isis. And we are joined by the man himself, Gramps Morgan, sharing with us uh, the uh, wow. sentiments mm -hmm. and uh, the 
feelings behind listen, listen. this brand new EP, wow. Ruddy, Deeper. Ruddy, ready for me. Grams, let me tell you something. Yes, man. You find it. Shells here, you find it, my general. Let me tell you why. I know yourself <laughs> and your family, you guys are no strangers to making timeless music. You understand what I'm saying? But yes, there's something sir. about the songs that you're releasing. I don't know if this is a term you guys can help me here, but genreless? Like, no yeah. genre can confine what you're creating right now, my general. Like, I can hear this in movies. <laughs> Coming like um, people like you. Like, I could hear it in movies. Yes, I man. can hear many people, no matter mm. race, no matter what. Everybody can relate to this. And I just want to say thank you. Because personally, thank I'm you. going through something, my general, and this one helps. Mm -hmm. So give wow. thanks. Thank yeah, man, well, it's you. you. I'm there to serve my people musically. This is the, the, the duty of musicians, to bring happiness, joy, to make us make our fans dance, but mm -hmm. also to make them reflect and mm -hmm. comfort them. And no matter what the human race, we're all experiencing the same thing. Yes. And when you listen to this song, you really get a chance to, to really feel that healing energy. And it's just one of my purposes to bring joy and happiness to to many families around the world. Respect. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Grams. Also, also, if I may add, it's red. Um, first of all, the song, I got chills. I got mm -hmm. shivers. And like what Shell says, it's just universal. It, it crosses over to everybody. It definitely transcends. And we have text messages here that uh, right away, you're affecting people here in Toronto that are saying, thank you, I lost my father July and the song just hit me the best way. Oh. Um, and that was DJ, uh, what was that? L, L Vibes. Um, also, too, you know, there is, and I want to ask you this, when it comes to butterflies, you know, I had a, a family member pass away last year, and I tried telling my son, you know, he's five years old, when you see a butterfly, that is uh, Grandpa David, or that mm. is a family member that has passed. I don't know mm. where I got it, it's just what I felt. And then this butterfly landed on me and wouldn't leave me alone. And I kind yeah. of giggled with the butterfly because I felt this butterfly was a presence. And I know I'm going really deep here, oh, but good, man. is this how you feel? Is this how you feel about a butterfly? Because as my grandmother says, you know, a hundred captains can be wrong. So, <laughs> you know, a hundred sailors or something like that. But is this how you feel? Like, how do you, how did you find the correlation to a butterfly? And do you feel your father's presence? Boy, I read, I'm thankful that you addressed that, you know. Mm -hmm. And music is real. And with this, there's a lot of times that we have to express ourselves. It, it, if it's a dance, I'm going to express myself different. If it's me making making a love song to make love to my woman, it's, it's going to be a different. But this is an expression that everyone can relate to. And when you talk about the butterfly, I experienced the same thing. Wow. Because there's something about a butterfly to him. And then when he comes to land Spaniel, mm -hmm. in, in Jamaica, I'm saying, when we see a moth, them say them, them bring message in Jamaica mm -hmm. and in the yeah. Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So there's something spiritual that within the universe that if we just slow down sometimes, we can connect with these things. You can connect with a tree. You can connect with a mm -hmm. cat, a dog. There's the nature that the, the creator, the most high, has created. Sometimes if we slow down, we'll feel this connection. And I'm just excited about the artistry of this project mm -hmm. to show that we as Caribbean people that we can be genreless, mm -hmm. but it's still a song that you can know. Say, yo, is that Jamaican? Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you listen to Rihanna, she's a Bayesian. Mm -hmm. You understand? And yeah, so but when you listen to her music, it's pop music. And then when you yeah. heard her first single, it was like a dance uh, pop record. So we cannot continue to put ourselves in boxes. So this project is really, it's emotional for me and it's also from my genre. Mm -hmm. to show what we are capable of when we really take the time and putting some serious time into production. So uh, when, you, when you talk about the butterfly, it's a multiverse of, of, of emotions that when the, the butterfly, when you talk about him sitting on your shoulder, it's something special that you can feel almost connection if you slow down. But if you're moving too fast and drinking and gyrating, mm -hmm. sometimes you have to slow down. And that's what I really want to bring to my caribbean community and the world at large that love reggae music definitely it slowed it down beautifully for us yeah. grams uh, you gave us a deeper a very insightful piece of Man. body of work and we thank you so much grams also thank, thank you for you. taking the time to chat with us and share with yeah. us this morning red we have been over time so <laughs> i allow you to close <laughs> out <laughs> it's been a great one. Thank you. I feel like we can go on with this interview with Thanks. you and Isis. Isis, anything you want to say? 
Yeah, I just want to say, um, bless up each and everyone out there that always basically contributing to the music and keep reggae music and dancehall music alive, you know what I mean? So I just yes. want to say to all the fans and the supporters in music, just continue doing the great job. You awesome. know, awesome. Awesome. And I just want to give you some Grams, words of strength. Such a lovely song, you know, give us chills. Yes. And just continue to do the great music. Isis, I just want to give you some words of strength. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Continue, continue to do the work and continue to promote your music. Link mm -hmm. up people like Contractor. Find, find a mentor. Because a lot of artists, there's so much talent out there, but mentorship is a big problem. So I just want to put that out there and continue to do what you do. Red, thank you for having me. I'm big up the 987 family. All right. Respect, man. All right. Thank you so much, Grams. Uh, that was Respect. our Canadian Connection.